Hello and welcome. My name is Wumi. This is the fifth episode of The High. Alright, I want to say I am deeply sorry we couldn't drop an episode last week Friday. It was due to circumstances beyond our control. But yes, we're back now. We're back with another story of another single mom on the hive. Today our topic says, how dating a married man left me a single mom. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi Debs. My story is a cautionary tale about love and betrayal. It all began at a lively party where I met W. Our chemistry was instant and electric, sparking a connection that felt undeniable. My excitement quickly turned to heartbreak when I discovered W was married. He confided in me about his marital struggles, assuring me he would soon leave his wife. Initially, I was skeptical, having heard such stories end in disappointment many times before. But W's persistence and actions soon eroded my doubts. He introduced me to some of his family members and even went as far as asking me to get pregnant, claiming it was a family tradition for the future wife to be expecting before marriage. Wow. W assured me he had filed for divorce and his marriage would be over in a matter of months. Believing him, I began fasting and praying for a child, thinking this was the final order before our marriage. Throughout this period, W visited me daily, sometimes staying overnight. Our time together painted a picture of a man torn between duty and love, always citing his children as the reason he had to return home. A few months after he claimed to have filed for a divorce, my prayers were answered and I became pregnant. All right, do not forget that we have four episodes of The Hive on this channel. Please visit my playlist, The Hive playlist, for these four episodes so you can catch up on all the stories we've shared before now okay all right let's get back into our story however my joy was shattered when i learned at four months pregnancy that w was having a naming ceremony for his wife who had just given birth to a baby boy the scene of their celebration played vividly in my head a cruel juxtaposition to my solitary pregnancy mm. I was devastated and confused about how his divorce plans turned into having another child. When I confronted him, he gave all the explanations saying that his family had urged him to reconcile with his wife for the children's sake, thus cancelling the divorce. He told me we couldn't marry under these circumstances, but promised to support our child financially. Mm. His betrayal left me shattered and I felt utterly foolish for trusting him. When our baby was born, W was absent for both the delivery and the christening. Each milestone passed without him, cementing my resolve that it was nothing more than a ghost of the past. He initially sent money but soon stopped responding to my calls and eventually disappeared. Even the family members he introduced me to advised me to move on. Now my daughter is 12 and I have kept the truth about her father from her. To me, he is as good as dead. His deceit serves as a harsh lesson on trust and the importance of self-preservation. Okay, so today's story is like a normal, is the normal everyday story you hear on the, on the streets, okay? Yes, how that a married man would be dating a young lady or a single lady and sell the story of, don't worry, I'm leaving my wife pretty soon then we'll get married yeah i've got problems in my marriage i'm tired of the woman i'm tired of the marriage and then soon you realize you've been in that relationship for five years six years nothing seems to change okay all right now be, i'm not here to um throw stones i'm not here to judge anyone okay i am unconcerned about whoever anyone tries to date in this case, I'm more concerned about how much ladies, women, trust married men in scenarios like this. What went wrong? What went wrong is you believing that a man who is still in his home, 
would one day leave his wife. I think that the proper journey through this is for him to leave the wife first and then you can talk about marriage. If he has not left his wife, what you have with him is just a relationship and nothing more. So I think one of the mistakes he made was to have listened to him on the issue of getting pregnant so we can get married, blah, blah, blah. I don't understand the type of tradition, the type of custom that would make you impregnate a woman. Leave her stranded with the baby and take no responsibility for that child. And this is the reason why as a woman, you need to preserve yourself from being hurt and armed by men like that, by such promises, okay? The sad part of this is the old hurt and the pain is not just going to be borne by the woman alone. That child is going to come into this world and she will, be, she will keep wondering, where is my father? What happened to my father? A tale that you as a mother, <laughs> you're not ready to tell. Uh, fortunately, I don't think you can run too far away from it. One day you have to tell her who her father is and what went down. Okay, you, that's an information that you cannot keep away from her forever, unfortunately. All right. So I think as, as women, men, anyone in a relationship, we need to learn self-preservation. Preserve yourself from harm um, by picking on the red flags immediately. He's still with his with his wife. He goes on to his to his to his family under the guise of all oh, the children. Meaning that that home is still as important as you might you can imagine. Then another mistake that we make as women is to think that the moment a man introduces you to his family members or some of his family members, that means he's serious and he's genuine. My goodness, darling, don't be deceived. I've seen introduction. I mean, people who have done introduction and then those relationships break eventually. So choose your struggle and choose your battle wisely. If you want to have a child for a man, fine, but that's cool if it's cool with you. But do not do it just because a man is saying do it so that you can get married. No, that's a very wrong narrative with very wrong reason to ask a woman to get pregnant for you. I can imagine all the woman had to go through fasting, pray just so she could get pregnant for a man who has no intentions of marrying her because it's obvious he was still sleeping with his wife while asking her to get pregnant for him. They never had issues. They never, I mean, so we need to seek proof. That's what I'm saying. You want to be with a man, you want to be with a married man, you need proof. This proof must materialize. You must see it happening, occurring before deciding to move along with him in his marriage plans okay i'm so sorry you have to go through this but hey guys there's no trust in any married man who is still with his wife <laughs> there's no trusting him to leave his wife until he has left his wife okay we should not ignore the red flags stop relying on fake promises if he wants to do it let him do it then you come then he comes back for you yeah, that's the order of things. I file for his divorce, do all that needs to be done, and come back and get you like the real way it should be. If that's not happening, you're just in a relationship, a fun relationship with him and nothing more, okay? I don't know, it, even if it's serious, it's not the real deal. It's not marriage on it until it's marriage. Yeah, that's just what I'm, what I'm saying. It might be serious for you guys, it might be real for you guys, but until that ring is on your finger, it's no marriage, okay? All right, so let's learn to demand proof and set boundaries on what you want and not what he wants because at the end of the day it becomes your body when the chips are down all right seek advice talk to people when you're noticing something or things begin to change between you and your man find somebody that you really trust a relationship expert a friend a family member someone you think you can trust their sense of reason and their judgment confide in them and seek their opinion and do not throw or brush aside whatever uh, opinion they have concerning your relationship most of the time 70% of the time, they are always correct. And most importantly, people, ladies, everyone out there, single moms out there, protect yourself. Self-preservation, protect your self-interest is very important. Over and above love, over and above any relationship, self-love is very, very important. Because at the end of the day, what that man has just done is to love himself over you. Okay? All right, that's it for today on the I've, okay? Do not forget that you could share your story with us. Someone out there needs to hear your story for their, for them to make the right decision. So you just might be helping someone by dropping your story. All right, we have our email address scrolling on the screen right now. DebsConnerNG at gmail.com. Yay, I got it correctly this time. <laughs> DebsConnerNG at gmail.com. Send your story to DebsConnerNG at gmail.com. We'll read your story. We'll share insights into your story with people. And we know that people's lives are being changed this moment just listening to this program. Okay? Thank you so much for sticking with us so far. 
thank you i'm so sorry we didn't drop an episode last week we promise to always keep you up to date and not to miss any episode anymore my name is Umi. remember i love you all bye <laughs>